Okay, I'm going to do a simple little test for you. This is part two of the carbon monoxide lesson. And basically what we learned in part one is gas has to burn at a 10 to 1 mix with oxygen. One part gas, 10 parts oxygen. That's how you get that perfect burn. Now this is a regular torch from Home Depot, map gas, regular to solder with. And what I'm going to do is show you, by the manufacturer's uh, design, they have oxygen ports where it pulls in the oxygen to get a perfect burn with the gas at a 10 to 1 burn. And you'll see the blue when I do this. You can see the blue. It's just about perfect. That's a perfect burn. And now watch what happens when I choke off the oxygen so it can't burn with the gas. See that? That's carbon monoxide. That's the fuel being not unable to burn completely. What carbon monoxide is, like we spoke in part one, is unburnt fuel, and that's very deadly. The fumes from that will kill you. Also, that black particles in the air that I'm seeing, you probably can't see right now, from the unburned fuel is what packs the boiler with carbon and stops the fumes from going up and out and winds up killing you because the fumes can't go out. It needs to burn with oxygen. It's a 10 to 1 burn. Oxygen is very flammable. Fortunately, we are only in a 20.9% oxygen on Earth, what we breathe. It's not 100% like everyone thinks. It's very flammable oxygen. If it was 100%, you'd probably light a match and explode right in front of everybody because uh, it, the only way you're going to get 100% oxygen is if you go into your hot local hospital and hop into the hyperbaric chamber. And then you'll get 100% oxygen. But don't light a match. Okay? It's 20.9% oxygen. That's what we use around here. That's what we breathe. The rest is nitrogen and some other stuff that you probably don't want to be breathing. But the gas has to burn at a 10 to 1. Anything that burns fuel can have carbon monoxide poisoning, including fireplaces, even if it's just wood. Wood is a fuel. Without the proper oxygen, that can eventually kill somebody. Gas stoves is another major problem. A lot of people cook it. Gas stoves do burn at a 10 to 1 by the manufacturer's design. They burn nice. But in a very tight kitchen that's, that's airtight and it doesn't have the... Um, the hood over the stove that blows outside, if you try to heat your home because you ran out or you have um, no other way of heating, the boiler doesn't work, and you turn on the oven to heat your home, that's deadly. Even though you got that 10 to 1 burn where the gas and oxygen is a perfect mix under the stove and it's making that flame, eventually you're going to fill that kitchen with carbon dioxide. And now you have natural gas and carbon dioxide mixing together and trying to burn instead of natural gas and oxygen. And when that happens, natural gas and carbon dioxide, even though the carbon dioxide isn't deadly, will make carbon monoxide because you'll get that high yellow flame when you're burning. So don't ever heat your kitchen or your house with the oven for that specific reason. Oil, same thing. Needs the oxygen to burn. They can do a carbon monoxide analysis by putting a combustion analyzer inside the oil burner's chimney and adjust the fuel air ratio so you get that perfect burn. It happens with kerosene. It happens with any fuel. If it's not a perfect burn, you're going to get carbon monoxide. You don't smell it. You don't taste it. And it kills you. So the bottom line is, carbon monoxide detectors, make sure they speak to each other because if one's too far away, you may not hear it if you're sleeping. Make sure there's one in the hallway and in the bedroom. Make sure they speak to each other. The Home Depot has them where if one goes off and it's very far away, it tells the other one. And the first thing you do is get out of the house. Get everybody out of the house. That's it. Because you're going to save your life. You're not going to know it. You're going to hear the detector going off and say, what's going on? There's something wrong with it. I don't taste anything. I don't smell anything. Well, you don't taste it and you don't smell it. All of a sudden, you'll get weak in the, in the head or light in the head and you'll faint and then you can't get out. Get out of the house. Save your life. Get a carbon monoxide detector. Get the ones that talk to each other. And get a plumbing outfit that has a combustion analyzer 
that he can check your boiler and adjust the fuel air mix so it's a perfect burn. And that will save your lives. If you have a boiler that hasn't been cleaned, have it cleaned. That will also save your life, the boiler and the chimney.